Very beautiful. Not a speck of garbage anywhere. That's the path we came down right there. I was thinking about maybe, maybe even driving across this. Wonder where that leads. I got Brindley tied up so she doesn't run away. Make sure them knots are good. I don't want her to run off on me. That wouldn't be good. But she's definitely not gonna break that rope. I got this blanket down here for Brindley to lay on. Instead of laying on these hard rocks while we're hanging out here. This place is kind of strange though. I've noticed there's not a single bird anywhere. Not one bird. None. Well, I got two coolers. One's filled with monsters and water. And the other one's filled with food. And I got an extra five gallons of gas. I even have a light because I got a generator so our next place we go we're gonna have some light it'd be a lot easier to walk around than this place this is temporarily and this is where I'm gonna sleep right in here I got a bunch of clothes I got a bunch of blankets in there these seats fold down this thing's a beast I do not advise one to do this unless you know you're not driving anywhere. And if you do, make sure you take your dog off the leash. And it's not funny because people have probably done that and drove away before. But this place is wicked rocky, huh? Look at this. Well, we're, when we're here in Maine, hopefully we can run into some moose. I've definitely noticed there's a lot of little trails like this everywhere we go. This is definitely a cool spot. All right, Bryn, let's bunker down. We'll wake up in a few hours when it's dark A little bit, a little bit of water fun here. Cyberpunk. <laughs>
gorgeous day here in northern Maine. And little Brindley's in the back seat. But here I am at mile marker number 44. That's my lucky number. But we gotta go to marker 47 for the next step of the directions to get this the old abandoned trains here in northern Maine, here on these old logging roads. And rumor has it is these old logging roads go for miles and miles, and you could actually get lost out here pretty gosh darn easy, and you could end up in Quebec, Canada, which me and the Brinster do not want to do. So we're gonna follow the directions right to the T. So so far we've been on the logging road now for 44 miles, and hopefully you guys enjoyed some of that first footage. But anyway, let's go see, let's go see Brindley in the back seat. 44. Brin, you're, you're hanging in there. I'll tell you, this dog is a trooper. She hasn't whined or barked the whole trip, and we've been driving now for about nine or 10 hours. Well, let's go, Brindley. All right. And if you get off that couch and come and explore these two abandoned ghost trains here in northern Maine, you're going to get a one dirty truck. And make sure you got good tires or you will get a flat tire because this road is all shale. And we did see a deer so far. And I seen a, I think it was a groundhog, it could be wrong, but we haven't seen a moose yet. That's what me and Brindister want to see. So we're going to probably come up, wake up in the middle of the night and go riding out in, on these logging roads. And hopefully we could find a moose walking along the road. Well, let's go Brinster.